What's up you guys, so I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of USD and uh, my name is Caleb Miller and I am going to be majoring in business management here at USD and this is what my dorm looks like and you guys will be able to see my picture on my ID but then later I will actually at the end of this I you will be able to see my face but yeah alrighty you guys so we're now in the somewhat heart of campus um, so here's all the different buildings there's the muck uh, we're gonna go through that but we're gonna go to the far end of the campus and start from down there and work our way back to the dorm but um yeah so all these these are all these different halls uh there's the library and each floor consists of a volume or noise level first floor is you can whisper and talk like this well you can talk like this in your normal voice Second floor is a whisper, so you have to be very quiet. And then the third floor is quiet. I mean, it's like complete quietness. You cannot speak. Um, the old main right here, here I can uh, give a little history, but uh, this used to be, I think, the, this was, I think, I think the third building that was built on this campus. And back then, they actually used to house students and they had classes in Old Main, and at night it's really cool. But um, Old Main is a very nice building. I have one class inside there. Um, there's others over there. That's just that building right there where the smokestack is just a maintenance facility. So, <laughs> but uh, I'm not gonna go over in that area, over to there, because that's just all other dorms. So, basically, all your main classes are in this area. Student services, well, that's the uh, service center, but uh, it's known as student services. So, if you have a disability, ADHD, autism, any kind of disability that affects your learning, you can go there. And it actually tells you on the thing of when it was built. So, that was built in 1916. A lot of these buildings are really old, but uh, Old Main is the main that stands out. It's the, I think, oldest building here on campus, but it's the main one that stands out. So that's why everything else in the middle of this is completely open, so you can get a good view of Old Main. Uh, there's a few lecture halls that house 300, 400 students for lectures, but uh, it's pretty nice here. Just more dorms. So then here's some uh, different halls. I don't exactly know what happens in each hall. So <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, um, I will go inside some of the buildings if they're unlocked and give you guys a little quick peek. So that's um, the Epoly Auditorium. So you can go and see plays and stuff like that. And they have the auditorium set up in a way where it um, mimics uh, the old theaters from back then so uh, sorry that's the audit auditorium uh, that's just audit that's just the auditorium I think it's Epley so Dakota Hall I think it's I don't know what goes on in there but it's real nice in there it's uh, these are all classroom though and um, But um, in some of these, there's science in each hall. Different classes take place, but uh, around the campus, there's um, the same kind of class sizes, I guess. But some are consisted of 200, 300 class sizes here, but those are for the big lectures. So here, here's East Hall. Again, I don't know. It was erected in 1887. And, it, and it's a nice old kind of castle feeling. Um, a lot of us call this next building the White House building because it looks like the White House. So, and it's the art and science building. So if you're taking any, um, if you're taking any kind of classes that somewhat involve art and sciences, this is where you'll be. You, you'll have like a writing classes here, but as you can tell from the outside, it looks like. Um, the White House and if you look closely College of Law so this used to be the I think it's still the law school but I think they're changing it soon 
It's not that bad, but it'll be a shame if they do change it. So here's the front side of Old Main. It is a very nice building inside. And they, and it houses, I think, 10 classrooms inside it. Don't, I don't know exactly, but <laughs> I'm just going off of what I know as a student here. So once I'm a senior, I'll probably know all of this. But uh, yeah, at night though, this is, it's all illuminated. It's really nice. So yep, here's the auditorium. I don't know if it's Epley. I think it is, but um, it's the auditorium here. So they have the old fashioned kind of stage set up where you have the balconies and all of that. Um, yep, so I, I just love the look of Old Main, especially the uh, uh, engravings up on the top. But um, I have a class in there. I don't know, I'm telling you guys where my classrooms are, so you guys can stop it. <laughs> but, um, and then here is admissions. So here you can, oh no, that's Slag Hall. So. Oh yeah, that is the Slag Auditorium. Or is, or is it I think it's slight. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> but, um, so if you guys have any financial aid or stuff like that, if you have a car, this is where you go to get your parking permit, your parking pass. That allows you to park here on campus. If you don't have one, you'll get a ticket. Some people have gotten warnings, but they may not be too nice, and they'll ticket you. But um, as we're walking, I guess, um, if you guys, there's this, uh, if you guys heard of sororities and fraternities, um, this campus has five sororities and I think a eight fraternities and what those are it's like a sisterhood brotherhood kind of thing where you hang out and um, you yeah they all they do worry about GPAs and whatnot so you have to have a good GPA in order to be in a frat and or sorority frats are for guys the sororities are for the girls and um, about the first week of school they have this thing called Rush, and you get to go to each frat house or sorority house, and you get to meet the people inside it and tell them a little about it, tell them about yourself, and get, uh, and then you can get to know them a little bit. And then at the end of the week, you can get a bid, and what a bid is is it's a piece of paper that says that uh, they'd like to extend the time with you and offer you a position in the house. And right now, I am getting bids from a few houses but if you get bids from more houses think about what you want to do and uh, what house you want to be in but uh yeah it's a big choice but that you pick wisely though I think you can switch from brotherhood to brotherhood but I don't know but um, here's a few hints and keys about a brotherhood is and the sisterhood just goes for both of the uh, sororities and frats. Do not talk crap about e the other houses because it's a sign of disrespect. And um, if you disrespect a house, they can get, uh, if you disrespect any of the houses, they'll get really mad at you and you can get uh, kicked out of the house. On certain cases, if you talk too much crap about the house, they will kick you out. It's happened a few times here. So, um, yeah, there's parties, but if you're not much of a partier that's fine you can stay out of it <laughs> but um it's a nice campus i uh, i we can i'm going to walk by one of the frat houses so you guys can see um what it is and then i can i forgot what i will remember the name but uh i'll probably have to look it up <laughs> but it's not that bad so here's the laboratory big hall big classroom so uh science kind of stuff goes on here yep see still green any chemistry and stuff like that it even says chemistry on the building but chemistry and stuff like that's taking place there um i uh, will cross back around so we're gonna go to there and then we'll cross back around over and around and then we'll go to the muck and then we'll shoot out on the other side of the muck and then you can see the, the other kind of classrooms and uh, buildings they have here um so that, so that is the medical building. So if you are interested in becoming a doctor or a nurse or anything like that, that's the building you'll go to. And uh, 
there I think that's that is I think the music museum the infinite the notorious music museum of USD but um yeah it's it's nice here um, if you guys have any questions ask your teacher and or if you have any questions just in general and you're not in school um, put it down in the comments and if you can share like share subscribe and like this video I'm a youtuber so I kind of have to say that to just a need your reaction so here's another living here's another uh, residence hall and it's really nice here but um ignore that sound right now it's just the building going it's running uh, so the word on the street is they have dead bodies in there for cadavers and they actually do I have a friend on snapchat that is a nurse and they have to work on the cadaver dolls to for their degree kind of gross yes but um, it's not that bad so yep that's it's, I think it's a few years old but it's the new medical center that we have here it's pretty big it's really nice inside um, I wonder how close I can get to the house without getting yelled at no I won't get yelled at I know the house but um yeah if you, but um, if you guys want try to do a fraternity if you're a guy fraternities if you're a female go for the sorority but uh give it a go see what it's like it's not it won't hurt to actually try but yeah so the, these aren't part of it <laughs> that house right there is one of the frat houses here on campus it's really nice so yeah there's the med school and then yeah, there's the frat house, and it, this is one that I rushed at. Okay, let's see if I can get up front without. Oh, this is Phi Delta Thea. So that's as close as I'll get, but it's uh, yeah, Phi Delta Thea. They have bigger houses here, but that's one of the nice ones. There's other ones. Teak, beta, and uh, later in the video, when I get back to my dorm, I'll pull up on my computer what all the frat and sorority houses are, and I'll name them off. And um, if I can, I'll after this, I'll go around and take pictures of some of the houses without getting yelled at, so you guys can see what some of the houses are like and what they look like. Some of them are big houses, but don't don't let that scare you. But um, yeah, around on campus if I can if I can find one I'll try to but the USD signs popular kind of thing but people, 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 people. but um yep so here's more again this is just already the dormitories we already went through Julian Hall as you see I think Julian Hall is a two per two per room and of course each room has their own little AC unit uh, yeah, and each one of these halls have their own kind of AC units and again if you live in Iowa you can uh, they won't they, they will charge you for out-of-state tuition actually that's a nice thing that's why I chose USD somewhat the, re the reason why I chose USD was because of the price and also the uh, track and cross country team here they're really nice and then yes again the price where you don't get charged with out-of-state tuition so you you will get in the cost you will be in, they will count you as in-state tuition so that's a nice thing about here is that you don't have to pay for out-of-state tuition and that's about two maybe a thousand two thousand dollars more than it actually is the building we're looking at right now is Beacon School this is the Beacon School of Business the new uh, the new business school uh, before we started this um, well we'll walk by it but there's another school and that's Patterson but that's no longer the School of Business so if you see Patterson School of Business on it it's no longer the business school here Beacon was built and Beacon became the new School of Business so 
but they do have a very high graduation rate for business majors here. They look at me like I'm crazy. But it's really nice here, so. Yep, so more dorm halls. More halls. I think that's a science, another science hall. But, um, yeah, so there's Beacon. I, uh, on the other side, there'll be, I can get, I will get another nice picture of it on the other side. And all the pictures I take, I will be putting in, putting them in at the end of this. So you guys can see exactly what they look like. But, excuse me. So if you're interested in media, you can go there. Again, there's the Beacon School of Business. And then, I'll have to look at the front of this building again, but this is another building here, and this one has a big lecture hall in it. Uh, class sizes are big, 200, 300 for the lecture halls. But, um, sorry about that cut. Uh, someone tried to call me, but, um... I kind of had to hang up because I kind of needed to finish this so I can get back to my dorm and start editing. Most of the, but this probably won't be edited. Sorry, you guys. So, again, there's the muck. There's the library. And then, this is, I, this is the art. I don't know. I'll look it up again. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm rusty at this. So let's see if the doors are unlocked so we can go and, I guess, if we can look around it real quick. I'm pretty sure the doors are locked. Okay, no, it's not. So right now we are in Beacon School of Business. It's really nice, so. Yeah, this is what it's like inside of Beacon. Three floors of niceness. <laughs> There's those people here. So if you're a dean, you go in there, the dean's sweet. Ooh, sorry about the stickers. So then, yep, there's the media center. So if you're doing any radio services or stuff like that, you go there. Now we're gonna go figure out. Yeah, so I'll get a picture of it, but it's a really nice building. The muck is another nice building here on campus. I'll try to get, if I can, I'll try to get pictures of most of the buildings here, like Old Main, the muck, the Beacom School of Business. So you guys can all see. So I'm gonna go that way, and then we're just gonna backtrack on there and go that way. Because we started from down oh well no we started over here nope we started yeah we started back there and then we traveled over here i'm sorry you guys i'm lost not really but um so the a fun fact about uh usd is that there is a full time a full-fledged uh police department here so they have 15 officers and i think five of them are um trained and uh suited for full shifts so if you feel scared if anything happens here that that you need help with uh you can call upd and it'll help you so some examples is if you're scared to go walk home at night alone back to your dorm or if you're scared to go home after a game you can call upd and they will escort you back to your dorm for you make sure you're safe um and whatnot uh if i can i'll probably stop in the library for you guys I want to make sure that uh, when you guys are watching this video in your class or just in general, if you're watching this video and you're thinking about going to college, that you pick uh, USD and all the butterflies that are flying around here. Even the butterflies like it here. Um, Churchill, Haynes, laboratory, so science and other stuff like that. So we're going to backtrack real quick. Look at the little but look at the butterflies again. I saw you in here anymore. Nope, they all flew away. Oh no, there's one. Yep, see? All the butterflies. It's a very lovely campus. Butterflies love it here. 
University of Butterflies. <laughs> so, yes, I see the AGPD scooting around on their uh, little uh, <clears throat> electric moped. Not moped, but you know. So, again, full fledged staff. They love to cruise around. So, yeah, if you feel scared or unsecure or don't feel safe and you feel like something's gonna happen to you, you can call UPD and they'll help you. Um, so right now I'm going to go over there and get a good picture of Beacom for you guys. Um, I know that it's going to be very crappy and you guys won't li think much of the video, but, um, and I know I'm not giving much history, but uh, I'll probably make another video a little later for next year that will give more detail and information about USD or I'll probably throw a few slides in at the end of this <laughs> for you guys so you guys can get some slides but um yep there's the muck and it's two floors sorry for my finger being in there <laughs> sorry I am bored not really but here's Beacom and then there's McDonald's so if you uh, get if you get a late night craving for some McDonald's you can go over there so here's another school of law. There's a few, I think there's two school of laws here. Yeah, I need to walk further back to get a good picture of Beacom. It's a big building and it's a really nice new one. I think five years old, five or three years old. Yeah, see, someone won't even fan the camera. <laughs> so you have to go way over here. Butterfly. So, yep. So. Let's get a good photo of So there's the Beacon School of Business. And we're gonna walk back through the muck. I went through there but okay, so I already went through the muck, but my video cut out. So I need to make a new one. So they're gonna be just like what the hell? Oh I'm sorry about my language, you guys say please ignore my language. They're gonna be they're gonna be like, um, what the heck? What is he what are you doing back here? But um here in the muck there's the bookstore, which is a Barnes and Noble bookstore. So you can order online and stuff like that. And then from there you have Einstein's bagels, a brewery, convenience store kind of thing. Oh uh, dang it. So the bookstore's closed, but uh so that's what the bookstore is. Um so if you want, you can go there and stock up on some uh, amazing yoke gear and whatnot. Yeah, the bookstore's close to you guys, sorry. Ugh, those are close. So if you want, stock up on some yoke gear. I'm wearing some yoke gear. Some of those Einsteins. Try to be quiet in here. So yeah, they have TVs on here all the time. Let's go upstairs real quick to see if we can show you what's upstairs. What it's like. So yeah, it's a dining area. So the machines. Hey. Good? Giant TV. What's that? Oh, I'm making a little video for, um, I had one of my friends from CCD up here, he's a teacher. Yeah. And he asked me to make him a video of USD so he can show his students. Oh, sweet! Because they would do tours up here, but, um, I don't think they're going to do it anymore, because, I don't know. What high school did you go to? Uh, he works at, he works in South Sioux City, so oh, Cardinal okay. High, I think. Okay. I don't know exactly what it's called, right. so. But so you're like the ambassador? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I'm going That's around. Awesome. I'm going around making a little video for him so he can show it to his class of. How'd your first two weeks go? Pretty good. Yeah? Good. You've survived. I know. Two down, 14 to go. Yeah, yeah I know, yeah. right? Good, good. We'll see you later. Yeah, see you later. So here's upstairs, a bunch of offices. So if you want to go get, if you want your ID, you can go in there. More stuff down there. There's the balcony. And then Beacom again. You know, actually, I really like the view from me up here real quick, so I'm going to show you what it's like. So, again, TVs, they have a PS3 
I think, up here. Yeah, PS3. So, the movies. So, um, there's Beacon. Yeah. Nice building, and then some offices. Oh, I wouldn't have locked myself out. Oh my god, there it Oh, great. Hold on. Hold on, you guys. I think I just locked myself out. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> joke's on you. No, it's really joke's on me. Yeah, they built a stairwell up here. So we're just gonna we're gonna backtrack again. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm seeing in there. So yeah, they built a niche stairwell for you to go down. Oh, I forgot about that. I somewhat did forget about the stairwell. I thought it was all blocked up. So again, quick backtrack. Ooh. So back to these doors again. So this is going to be about a 20, 30 minute video. Well, not really. I'm going to try to make it faster. I'll probably edit out some. <sighs> Damn it, one door is always locked. So. I'm like, what the So then here's my remaining area. So yeah, keep that lot to play. And then there's a media center, it's closed for today. So what I just walked through was a uh, study area, so you have to be kind of quiet because people are studying in there. So that's why I didn't say anything. But uh, yeah, they have plenty of areas here that you can go and study. Uh, there's study groups that you can go to. So again, first floor you can talk at my uh, normal voice. Second, you have to be quiet, like a whisper. And then third, you have to be absolutely quiet. There's no talking on the third floor unless you are being assisted by a uh, librarian. So, but um, yeah, that's so you have to see the muck. Um, and then there's the education center. So, if you want to become a teacher, you can go there. You have classes there. So, here's the P Pat Patterson. So then there's the muck, and then there's the uh, notorious coyote statue that we have here. But um, yep, here's uh Pat the Patterson Patterson Hall. I don't know why I'm freezing up so much, but um, yep, Patterson Hall is here. Which again, you have lecture halls and then some classrooms. But uh, yeah, there's the muck. And then the notorious coyote statue that we have here. It's really cool at night to get a picture of the coyote and um, old man in the background. I have a few photos of it that I can that I will show you guys. But um, yeah, I, I know I should get a photo of it, but I have enough. Um, but uh, the wellness center is down there. And uh, everything else. So um, we're gonna take a quick trip down to the wellness center. Just well, not well by the wellness center, I think. No, I guess not. I'll have to go through my footage to see if I got the wellness center for you guys. But um, so there's the dormitories for freshmen. You have Mickelson, Olson, Beatty, and Richard. Richie, but uh, those are all the dorms. I'm in Olsen second, which um, 
you'll hear uh, some of the students, if you say Olsen Second or their floor, they're like, oh, that floor. So here's uh, Patterson Hall School of Business. It's the old School of Business. So in some of these windows, you can actually see uh, tanks of, I think, nitrogen or something. But uh, yeah, I don't know exactly what's in those tanks. I think it's in some on these ones. I think it was in that one right there. But um, yeah, so I was gonna end up right back at the dorm. So uh, thank you guys, and um, next time I do a video like this, I'll have more information about it. Now you get to go around and take some photos and um, enjoy. All right, you guys. So now we are in the theater and art department. So this is where, if you're taking an art class, if you're interested in doing um, theater work, this is where you come. So a lot of the things that you see along the walls. So you have student artwork, and then you have pictures of different plays that happened in certain years. So student. So all the things in here, students made. So some of the things here are really cool. So and yeah, around here they have all the theater, all the plays that they did. So yep, each thing's different. You're gonna hear some noise because there's people. Um. So yeah, so here's some of what some of the students said. So they are an artist and they're gonna fight and they fight for equality. So each student here gets their own locker. So they can keep track of their stuff. So yeah, all the stuff students have made. So yeah, they're just doing in there. So I can't be too loud. So that was back there was the beginning of the theater department. So here's the art department where all the artwork is taking place. I wonder, hold on. So yeah, so here's a painting center where they would do paintings. Hi. Hey. How are you? Pretty good, you? Uh, pretty good. Yeah. yeah, just don't mind my talking. <laughs> Making a video for someone, so. Yeah. So, yeah, so out here there's a bunch of artworks that students have made. And some of them are really good and cool as no be. And um, yeah, so there's if you make if you want to work with clay, you can come in here and hey, there's a bunch of clay work in there. Um, then yeah, those are storage tables, outdoor. So yeah. You can go upstairs. I'm not gonna go upstairs because I don't know if I can. But um, yeah. So here's everything. So um, here's the music department. So if you're in band or anything, you can go down there. I'm not gonna go down a lot of the halls because I just don't want. I just yeah. I don't know. I just don't want to get in trouble or yell at by a teacher if I'm in the wrong area. So yeah, so band, so marching band. So then there's that. So then, um, so there's no slots for each um, room. So yeah, they have an art gallery here, but it's closed. So yeah, so coat hangers. But um, yeah, so here's the art gallery. Oh, yeah. It's hard to see through all that, but um, in here is where they will have plays and stuff like that that you can go and see. Let's see if it's open. Yeah. So, yeah. So, they have theater here. So, the next place we're going to be going is um, Yep. So the yeah, what was I gonna say? The next place we're gonna be headed to is um, the wellness center. Cause I don't know if I got a video of that, so I'm gonna go back to it. I'm just gonna cut through the lawn. 
So yeah, so out here there's a lot of artwork that they just, students have done. It's really nice. They need to mill the lawn, the, mo the lawn is tall as can ever be. <sighs> so I'm just gonna, I guess, redo the intro of this. I did one intro, but uh, it wasn't that good. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this is the, the, art, of, the art center is really big. The, the reason why though is because of how the classes are set up. Some of them are clay like you saw the clay department where and then also it's all um, music so marching band and stuff like that takes place in here so if you want to be in band in college this is probably the building that you'll go to if you go to usd i'm not i'm not telling you guys you have to go to usd but uh you may know people that have been to usd and if you ask them how their experience is they'll probably say it was great um there's a sports complex so baseball soccer um all of those kinds will be done in there uh, i didn't say football because football is actually played inside our uh, dakota dome and if you are when you're in high school and depends on what high school you go to you uh you'll come here for Verm to vermilion and um, when they talk about dakota dome that's what it is. It's how that dome right there, and that's the where we play all of our home football games. Basketball, I believe, is taking place in there. Um, right over there, that complex is Coyote Village. Uh, a recap again. Well, a recap of Coyote Village is um, it's more of a hotel-themed kind of uh, place to stay. So it's not it doesn't give you much of the dorm life that you expect that you want but uh it is what it is <laughs> but um you have to be an athlete if you're an athlete well you don't have to be an athlete let me i'm gonna rephrase that if you are an athlete you get first pick and most athletes go there because the dakota dome's right over there and um it's close so, to where they work out because they have their own uh, workout area. The Stanford, Stanford, I think. It's the student uh, athletic center here. This is the uh, wellness center. This is just for all the other students. But um, a lot of people don't go for the uh, for the uh, Coyote Village because of how expensive it can be. So here we are at the wellness center. So we are back. At the uh, I back at the wellness center. I was here earlier, but I'm back here again to get another quick video of it. So, so I don't get <laughs> I'm getting you. People here are really friendly. You just have to interact with them, be nice. But uh, we have we do have the biggest climbing wall here in South Dakota. Yeah, they're probably like, oh, this kid's back. Yeah, yeah we're climbing. So yeah, you can climb, you can do whatever here. Come on. So if you're a workout fan or a basketball, you come here and do weightlifting. And then they have in real sports. And then just regular kind of sports. So volleyball, basketball. Uh, if you like racquetball, some of the presses here like racquetball. So if you are nice, you can get in with the and then they also have yoga, Pilates, and then basketball, soccer nets, well, soccer nets, and they have the nets up for soccer. So if you kick it too high, then go everywhere. And I'm gonna go upstairs to the indoor track that we have here, which is real nice. It's a 100 meter track, so 10 laps is a mile on it. So if you want to get a good three mile, just run 10, just run three laps around it, you'll be fine. And here's more uh, equipment. So there's the outdoor track where I, get, I think the track runners and cross country runners can train a little bit. But I'll be here later tonight to hit the rock wall. I'll probably do it when I'm done with this video. But I have videos of the rock wall. So, yeah, but this is our own center where we can do whatever we want. Don't 
So quickly before, well not quickly, why did I say quickly? Um, before I head back to my dorm, um, out here, so this is the back side of the art center. So this is like all the scrap kind of stuff. But uh, if I can, I'll try to get, I will try to get close to it. But what's over here is two wood firing kilns, and I like wood fire wood firing kilns because you know the wood firing kilns. It looks like they're storing stuff in it, but yeah, these are what they'll use to fire their artwork. I've seen it open once. I've seen that door open once. So, but so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys what part of Kyle. Sorry, I dropped my card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you part of Coyote Village. Um, so yeah, when you come here, that's what your student ID is. It will get you into your dorms. And it will uh, get you food. So how they have it set up is they have a thing called a meal plan. And what the meal plan consists of is swipes and flex. So the difference between swipes and flex is flex can be used at um, Einstein's Bagels, Qdoba, Chick-fil-A, and your swipes are used at the Muck, and those are in the dining hall, and that's um, basically an all-you-can-eat buffet, and they're open at certain times, so on the weekends... Uh, it's like they're open the weekends I think it's 7 to 2 and then for dinner it's uh, th 6 to uh, let me look on. 6 to 8 I think so yeah that's Cow Village as you can see the reason why it's so expensive is look at it it's very nice compared to the other dorms <clears throat> so I'm heading back to you real quick yeah, I'm not gonna, yeah. I, I tend to stay away from Coyote Village because it's too nice and I get jealous of who's ever in there because they get to stay in a nice place. But, um, yeah, some of, I know a lot of you people, a lot of you guys out there may not be able to come to this campus at all. So next year I'll come up with a better video. I'll probably have a drone so I can fly a drone and uh, get some cool drone shots. So the Fine Arts and the Continuing Education, the Fine Arts Center was built by hopefully 1973. And the uh, Continuing, the Center for Continuing Education was built in 1971. So I'm going to show you guys around in the dorms a little bit. Well, yeah, a little bit of the dorms. So when, at the beginning of the video, we started in the dorm, and then from the dorm, we moved to the center of the campus by the muck in Old Main, and then, then in near the middle, we walked by a frat house, and um, I don't know if your teacher will, but try to beg him to give you some extra credit if you can remember the name of the frat house that was in this video, um, but uh, from the dorms to the center of the campus to the wellness center well from the art se art center to the wellness center back to the dorms is the tour of the campus and it's a small campus but it's a nice campus so um if i can i'll probably show you downstairs in the dorms and we get so when we go through the door we'll look at the basement of the dorms and upper floor of the dorms Oh, look at that shitty roommate. Again, not my language, I do not like him. He's not my favorite. But yeah, everyone's coming back from their, from breaks, so. I 
as they go back out to their car, I go back inside, hopefully they don't notice me. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> I remember it's a little show off, like how strong he's trying to be. <laughs> so, yeah, so these are co eds and single gender floor. So, you can be in a co ed where it's boys, girls live together, or a single gender where it's just males and females on the floor. But, uh, yep, this is the side of. This is the far side of it, I guess. Oops. Oh, no, never mind. This is the side. This is the right side. So here we have pool tables, some foosball. Pretty nice as we hang out. So I'm about to open. Hey, people inside! Oof! This is our So this is, yeah, this is our hangout area. No, but this is a hangout area here. You can play pool, ping pong. You can rearrange it down here how you want. And I'm gonna show you how this is crucial to getting back into your dorms. So, up the stairs. So this cult is known as a three safety IAP. It's it's triple security, so you have to get you have to use a car to get into that area. You have to use a car to get into your floor, so my card is a chip in it that says I belong to this floor. And this is just a regular dorm. And then from the beginning of the video, this is where we start. Hey, what's up, you guys? So, I'm Caleb, and I was the one who gave a little tour today, but um, that's the campus of USD, and um, it's a nice campus, and I know a lot of people will not be able to see a campus like this, so I thought I'd make this video to uh, help you guys be able to see what uh, college life is like and uh, where everything is, so um, see you guys later.